Hello everybody, Yellow Mustang here once again with another Roblox game development video. We're back again with our weird Earth-like game, and we're going to continue working on setting up the second skill. Uh, somebody in the comments suggested, last episode, actually let's pull up the comments here, that we should use a folder to keep track of the stuff. But uh, we'll just read some of the comments here. I spelt development wrong in the intro. I don't know where the E went in the intro, but I have corrected that, so thank you for that advice. Uh, recommend changing the bullets uh, to be firing using ray casting. Uh, yes, that is the plan. I'm definitely going to be using ray casting to avoid the lag, because I, I cannot stand the way the bullets, like, sit there for, like, half a second, then, like, go flying. It's, like, it looks so bad. I hate it. Um, okay, you can hide the UI by pressing the, uh, the button. Uh, we can do that, and then... Also for your sounds, ooh, I like this advice too. Also for your sounds, clone the sound instead of just playing it. So I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna add that to our little to-do list here because that is a great idea. So we're gonna clone the shooting sound, definitely. Great, great idea, Tommy Cat. that was fantastic. All right, so yeah, here it is, zero, zero VYP. Uh, suggests we just create a folder in the character. Um, with all the cooldown values and shit. Um, that sounds good to me. I was going to put it in... Yeah, how do we have a setup in the game right now? What do we do with the money? So, I don't think we're going to put it in the character, per se. We'll... How about we just put it in the player instance? Uh, we'll probably be fine. Um, let's see. We recommend using bool values and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to do. So, I agree... Uh, grass improves performance. Does it? Does it though? Uh, auto light crew, of course. Great job. Uh, randomized pitches are better for organic things. Uh, the guns are more mechanical objects. I think the pitch should increase. Uh, would be better as a gradual increase the longer they are fired. Yes, I agree. We will be changing the uh, sound. We'll, we'll see how the sound, uh, sounds like after we make that cloning update, I guess. Uh, Marine Phase 2. Not coming for a while. I'm tired of working on it. Uh, the audience retention on the Marine video sucks. Like, the watch hours I get from that is trash. It's like people just come there, take the model, and then dip out of the video. So it's like not even worth making. It's like a waste of time, really. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm not I'm not smart, by the way. I just, just fake it till you make it. Just throw shit at the wall until it works. Um, okay, something about graphics mod. Booleans, yep, yep. You got it. Uh, in space, yeah, yeah. Second, early, first. I don't know what a custom top bar is exactly. Uh, congratulations on being the 1,000th 1, 1, subscriber. Anyways, uh, without, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create that folder that, uh, the guy suggested. Uh, so we'll do local skills folder equals instance.new folder and we'll put it inside player and then we can just set up like local skills uh, cooldown skills skill one cooldown equals uh, It's going to depend on what character they're playing. So we're going to have to change this eventually because different players are going to have different skills or different characters are going to have different skills. But I guess we can just do this for now. So skill one cooldown is very small. I think it's a tenth of a second. We might not even need a, cool, a cooldown for that. Uh, I don't know. Let's just do skill two for now because that's the one I want to modify. And we're going to do ray casting hopefully with skill two today and see how well we can get it working. Uh, so local skill cooldown. How how long did I want it? Three seconds, I think. So we need one that's going to be counting down, like how cool it is, all the way to zero. So we'll just set that at three, and then we'll just set local skill to cool equals true. So this will flip to false after we shoot the second skill, and then after skill two current cooldown counts all the way down 
we will flip this to it's cooled again and then we'll just set it back to skill two cooldown value so that way we can uh keep track of everything nicely um oh wait what am i doing <laughs> yeah these are instances oh shit i'm i'm getting ahead of myself so local skill cooldown equals uh shit oh my goodness how embarrassing instance.new uh int value we'll put it inside of skills folder all right cool and then what is skills to cooldown dot value equals three okay now we're making sense here i'm sure people are lighting me up in the comments section like how dare you do the wrong thing let's see skills folder it's it's so hard by the way to like To like <laughs> do do stuff like create code while you're talking to people i just get distracted really it's so hard to focus uh skill too cool so this would be an instance dot new boolean value uh, and we'll put that inside of a skills skills folder okay cool and then we'll set skill to cool dot value equals true what did, is there not a boolean value? Is it bool value? Ah, bool value. See, Roblox uses, uh, Roblox is short and that shit, that's too high speed for me. Okay, um, before we run this, I want to make sure, I want to tone down the enemies. Uh... So maybe we can slow down how much money it gets. We'll make it like, what was that, four times as slow? And I'm probably going to have to put a limiter in here so the game doesn't spawn infinite enemies. Okay, what am I looking for? Uh, inside a player. Folder. Value. Oh shit, we got to set the names of these. Okay. All right, well, they're there. Yeah, we just got to set the names. So we'll do that. Skills to cooldown dot name equals skill to cooldown. Okay, great. This is so repetitive. Uh, and then skills folder dot name equals skill folder. Um, yeah, we'll just do the same thing. So skills to current cooldown dot name equals skill to current cooldown all right and then last but not least skill to cool equals uh whatchamacallit dot name equals skill to cool Cool. Okay, so now we'll have all those nice values in there so we can keep track of that. So basically, we want to keep. So skill to cool equals. Uh, what this is a local script, right? So game dot players dot local player. So yeah, let's. We'll pull the player first. So local player equals game dot local player. Okay, so pull the local player, and then we can just set this to point to um, our value. So we do have to use wait for child in here because um, we're gonna have to wait for that to be created on that other thread, so we don't run into issues here. So player wait for child. Um, well, we need the skills folder first, right? So we need local skills folder equals player wait for child skills folder. And then we can just do skill folder variable in here and wait for child um, skills to cool. Okay, so there we go. So local skills to cool equals skills folder. Okay, so now we can pull that Boolean value. And then we can go into here. So if skills to cool 
dot value is equal to true, then print all this random shit. Uh, we're not using the global variables anymore. That won't exist. And then we can fire this event. And that way, if someone does try to exploit our games, they're not going to be able to modify those um, values. So we're going to sanitize as much user input as we can with that. So let's play. I'll try to do the right click. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why is everything broken? Uh, uh oh, shit. I probably, I must have mistyped one of the names and it's yielding infinitely up there. Uh, so skill, oh, skill folder. I thought it was called skills folder. Skill, skills. Uh, I guess, I guess skills makes more sense, sure. So update that and then this should uh, work. No. You don't want to work. Do we must have an infinite yield somewhere, right? Skills too cool. <laughs> Man, I'm just putting like S after everything apparently. Okay, so skill too cool. Okay, great. Yeah, this is this is a uh, not confusing at all. Oh, great. What does that say? Skills 28 index skill to cool a boolean value. Twenty-eight equals true. Yeah, we're referencing a, a boolean value, aren't we? Skill to cool dot value. Do we not need the value? I thought we did need the value. Okay, I'm gonna print this and see what this variable actually is. In attempt to index up value skill too cool a boolean value. Is skill too cool a boolean value though? I thought it would reference the actual um, object. Yeah, it does reference the actual object. Oh, so it must maybe it doesn't have a value in it. How does a bool a bool thing worked. I figured it was the same thing as a int value. Uh, right here. Value. Value. Yeah. Wait, why didn't that work? <laughs> value. Oh. So is this like... That is so strange. I really hate it when like simple shit like this just <laughs> doesn't work. That is so strange. It has it has the value. We're referencing this value right here if it's true or false. Index skill too cool. A boolean value. So why what do you mean it's a boolean value? Wait, skill too cool equals Oh, 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 I see. Okay. Yeah, we were we were doing it right. Okay, so we can just shorten that by doing this. So skill too cool value true, and then this sets it to false. Alright, I gotcha. I gotcha game. It's because I was redefining the variable there. Okay. Alright, you can see second skill activate. It activates and now we can't do it anymore because in skills folder the cool is now false perfect what is this Oh, it's probably because I'm not sending over the uh, C-frame information from this. Yeah. 
yeah, so eventually we're going to need to move this weight out of here anyways, because we should not be tracking it through that. Okay. So we're activating the second skill perfectly fine. And then in Spaceman Handler, if the skill is secondary, all we need really is Gun C frame 1, I think. So this can be like, I think we're going to need to create like a completely separate function for for creating uh, whatchamacallit the other shit secondary skill so function create because this is gonna be a completely like different shape of bullet like in size it's gonna be like more of a blast than a bullet um, so let's see create blast I guess that's what it is it's it's hard to say uh, so create blast So we do need, I do like pulling C-frame. So character, C-frame, damage. So yeah, let's have the same, I do, I do like that. So character, C-frame, damage. We can pull all that information. Um, I, do we need C-frame? I think we can just pull it from the, uh, the torso. So maybe we can just do character and damage. How do we use damage in here? Okay, and then we just send whatever damage just straight over. Okay, and we set the damage in here to be 15. It's kind of pointless sending that over because we're always sending over the same value anyways. Uh, maybe we can just use create blast character and look before before I get too ahead of myself we're gonna need a damage modifier anyways so let's see here so this can be skill setup so skill variables skill setup just do skill two setup uh, we need another folder in here I think called modifiers so we do local modifiers folder equals instance dot new folder player modifiers folder dot name equals uh, modifiers and then we can do local damage modifier equals uh, instance dot new int value uh, modifiers folder damage modifier dot name equals damage modifier and then damage modifier dot value equals one so there's gonna be items you can pick up in this game that increase the amount of damage you do per shot so we'll just have this value increase as we pick up those items and that way we can just do more damage right off the bat. And then we can just reference that in Spaceman Handler, I guess. So it does, it does actually reference the, uh, the character here. Shut up, alarm. Okay, um, we're out of time here. Uh, we didn't really get too much done. Uh, we got some good setup done for the rework of these skills. I know it's it's going to take a while because we're still building the framework for the skills and a lot of stuff is going to get changed or removed or, you know, uh, upgraded. But um, uh, stay tuned for next episode. Hopefully make some more progress. But um, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this.